YouTube, we're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week, well, we're doing two episodes, and today is the special Sunday Fun Day episode. You guys want more champ, you get more champ. I hope you all enjoyed the video I did last night. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, uh, there was some lava shits to come, and uh, boy oh boy, they did. They came about five hour, hours after I consumed that stuff, and uh, they lasted for the rest of the night. Um, some people messaged me <laughs> and commented too. Douglas and a few people, I believe, said something in the comments, and some other people messaged me. Um, yeah, everybody liked the, the little prank I pulled on you at the start of the video there and just switched it up a bit before the intro. So maybe from time to time I'll do that if, it, if it's funny and it suits, uh, suits the narrative. Uh, so I appreciate everybody who contacted me privately about that. Um, I was hoping some people would find that funny. So today, uh, we're, we're going to do another one of my sauce tastings. I still got two more so sauces left after this one. Uh, we're going to get this one out of this way this week. And then next week, we're going to do the final two. Plus, we got to get down to a review of Dustin Poirier's KO Louisiana style hot sauce. And I'm looking forward to uh, trying that one. It's a ghost pepper sauce. So, We'll see if it uh, really KOs the champ or not, or, uh, you know, if Dustin needs to taste mine so he can get an idea of what a KO sauce is. So, uh, the sauce we're doing today is now going to be named Gnarled Scorpion Viper. And this sauce uh, is based on a sauce that I had last year. Um, I, I mixed it up a little bit more and added more peppers to it, but last year it was just a Leviathan and Chocolate Bula. Uh, this year I added uh, the chocolate bula, the chocolate maruga, yellow maruga's peppers, and a few Viper X peppers, hence the name. Um, not really a boxing reference for this one, but that's okay. The next two sauces are the serious sauces. They're the contenders for the hottest sauces in the world, and uh, they're named appropriately. Um, one of them is the Undisputed, and that's a Reaper-based sauce. And then the sauce that has all the peppers and it has an insane pepper count is called Two Division, Two Division Champ. So those should be out of this world sauces. I have to say one thing before I do a tasting of this. Make sure you hit the like button and comment. <laughs> um, that and when I put this button jar on the fridge, I didn't label it. And I also didn't label the Reaper sauce undisputed. Um, I'm pretty sure I got them right because I've been comparing the jars for the last 20 minutes or so to, uh, those jars there, which I know which ones are. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I figured out which sauce is which. Um, this sauce has a lot of chocolate peppers in it and darker peppers. So this one should be darker than the Reaper sauce. I'm pretty sure I got it right because the... Jars that I know look or have the Reaper sauce in them seem to match the other jar like this better. So if this is extremely hot, then I'm reviewing the wrong sauce. But I'm pretty sure I got it right. So we're going to get down to this. Um, oh, I just want to say real quick, I appreciate everybody's commenting. And uh, hopefully more of you will continue to do so because we're going to do some giveaways. And I, and I want to make sure that the people that win are people who are active in the Champs community. Uh, we're going to have like our own camp here. This team is, we're all together, right? So I want everybody to get to know each other. I want everybody to communicate and talk and hopefully this thing will grow that way. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do some giveaways. I have some seeds I'm getting ready. I have some uh, Champs Power Flakes that I'll be making from the rest of my peppers. So there's going to be some giveaways towards Christmas and the end of the year so people can get started on their gardens next year. So make sure you're communicating with each other. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like every video. Make sure you subscribe. All right. Let's get down to the gnarled scorpion viper sauce because I really enjoyed last year's version of this. And uh, I think this year's version is going to be a little bit better because of the mix of the peppers. Um, those viper axes add flavor to everything. And they add a little bit of a unique pepper flavor. So the only thing I'm worried about is that I misidentified this, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. Smells peppery on the lid. I gotta say, sorry, that took my it took my words out of my mouth. 
Yeah, okay, so I smell the garlic. I smell a little bit of the tomato. I smell the pepper at first, but now I don't smell the pepper. Okay, let's see what it smells like in the jar. This is the one thing I like about these mason jars. Look how wide those mouths are. I mean, I don't know if this is the most cost-effective way of selling sauces, but um, it worked for me this year. And I gotta say that um, Champ Sauce has been a huge success so far this year. And uh, I gotta thank everybody who's ordered some. Um, it means a lot. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with this uh, until people at work said that they really enjoyed the sauce. And um, I've heard some good things about the sauce that I've been making this year. Uh, a guy, Justin at work, he was in one of my videos, he ate the chocolate bootler last year. Uh, he bought a, a, a jar of uh, scorpion knuckles and he's gonna take a couple of the hotter sauces. Um, he's almost finished his first jar, so. You know, it feels good. He loves it. He says he loves it. Brandon at work, who uh, had his breath taken away by my beef jerky, and if you haven't seen that, go look that video up. I, I uh, gave it to him a couple of months ago and took his breath away. Um, he bought some of it. He likes it. He was going to give it to his mom, and now he's not. <laughs> um, I gave some to one of the shops I deal with, and they enjoyed it. Um, one of the uh, our shop foreman at work bought some and uh, he's making some ghost pepper wings with my smoked uh, smoke and joe sauce so we're gonna find out tomorrow how his uh, friends like that because apparently they're heat freaks and he wanted to blow their socks off so hopefully that did it but yeah uh, I, i've heard a lot of good things from everybody who's tasted it no one has told me it sucked to my face or behind my back as far as i know so i'm really proud about that and it means a lot and uh that the fact that people have been contacting me on facebook to buy some People I haven't worked with in years, you know, that really means a lot. So, um, to those who are watching that maybe don't want to be known, uh, I appreciate the fact that you have contacted me to buy some. And, uh, you know, maybe Champ Sauce will be a thing, but I'll tell you, based on how it's gone this year, I will be aiming to make a lot more next year. And um, I might make one or two more batches from what I've got left because I got so many ghost peppers still to come. I might make some backup batches because uh, Smoking Ghost is almost gone. Now, as I'm sitting here babbling, the aroma from this jar is coming up. This is what I really like about these jars. I smell the garlic. All I smell is garlic. It smells really good. It smells like Italian cooking right now. Garlic. And uh, bring my nose closer to the jar. I, I smell, I still smell just garlic. Okay. But it's funny. When I first opened it, I did get a whiff of peppers. But the good thing is, is that I don't smell reapers. So this is the right sauce. My colorblind eyes figured it out. Okay, let's do the pour. As you can see in the jar, uh, great consistency like the other sauces. I have explained in every video, I like a sauce that's a little bit thick, but it's gotta have substance. Like look at that jar wall. You know, there's a little bit of bits and chunks and you can see some chunks like the one up here. Uh, there's seeds, like this little, it's imperfections of the blending process and uh, but it's liquid enough to be a sauce, but thick enough that it's not gonna just run off of what you put it on. That's what makes this fantastic. Okay, let's do a pour the best we can with the jar. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not gonna say what that pour reminded me of, but remember what I said yesterday at the start of the video? Okay, on the spoon, the aroma is really taking the room up now. Um, it smells very fresh. It smells very garlicky. I think that's what's most beautiful about this is the fact that I'm sitting here and I can smell it. Um, yeah, yeah, up close, I, you would never know. If, if you were going to play a prank on somebody, you would never know what you're about to be eating. Okay. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a modification of last year's recipe, so it's going to be new to me on this bite. Uh, but last year's, I really enjoyed the flavor of the Viper X and the Bula. So let's hope that the Maruga's yellow and chocolate and the Viper X, or sorry, the Leviathan was the recipe last year, Leviathan and uh, Bula. But let's hope the Viper X and the Maruga's complement the flavor. Um, here we go. Mmm. Oh my. <laughs> this might be my favorite sauce. <laughs> wow, the heat level is not insane. Um, 
I mean, I can tell there's two, a couple different types of burns going on. Um, on my tongue, there's a low level burn. On the roof of my mouth, it's got a stabbing, stinging, high level burn. Kind of like bass on, on the bottom and treble on top, if that makes any sense. And now as I'm speaking, the front of my tongue is starting to get a little bit of a fire breathing off of it. Wow. That is an interesting blend of burn, but a fantastic blend of pepper. And that one, I think this might be the most tasty, tasty sauce. Let's go for more. This one's really good. And it's getting hotter. Um, it's like a one, one and a half. This one's really good. Really, really, really good. I like extreme heat. I'll, I'll like the, the ones that I'm gonna taste next week. But the blend of these peppers, I really enjoy the Leviathan taste, and I really enjoy the Viper X taste. The chocolate maruga and the yellow maruga, they, the yellow maruga is a fruity taste. The chocolate doesn't have such a dominating flavor. So the amount of Leviathan, Viperex, their flavor really take over the profile. But there's a little bit of that chocolate flavor in there, just a hint. Um, that is peppery, a little bit fruity. I don't detect the sweetness of the tomatoes at all in this sauce. It, it wasn't sweet first and hot after. This one was peppery and, and uh, smoky right off the bat. Wow. This is the, I think this is the one I like the most so far. I like them all, but the flavor of this one is off the charts. Those two peppers are the star of this one and uh, it shows. The Leviathan Gnarled Scorpion is no joke. It's got some heat, it's got some great flavor, and like I've always been saying, that Viper X is really tasty. This sauce is great, and uh, wow. I'm gonna have to sell this one to some people now because uh, it's not crazy hot, like it's a one, one and a half to me. It's, it's hot, but for normal people, this would be, you know, four or five. If they ate that, it would be like a lot. But if you put a little bit on pizza or whatever, this is a flavorful sauce. You wouldn't need much to get a flavor. Really impressed. I'm really proud of this one too. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, there you go. There's your bonus episode, folks. I'm really pleased with this sauce, and I hope that other people will enjoy this one too. Um, I think this really is the best one I've made so far flavor-wise. Like, they're all good, and they're all a little different from each other, even though the recipe is pretty much the same. The peppers are the star flavor of every every sauce so far, and um, the two that are the stars of this one, they mix well. So I'm curious how those crazy super hot blends are going to be next week, because uh, one of them has 60 peppers, where most of them are reapers and ghosts, and the other one has 80, which is all the peppers. So a good majority is reapers, ghosts, and marugas. So those are going to be crazy to test. This is fantastic, Neuron Scorpion Viper, and uh, god damn, I'm proud of it. And thanks to everybody who's enjoyed uh, Champ Sauce so far. I really appreciate all of you guys. All right, that's it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, uh, check out yesterday's video where I did the double punishment that was pretty bad. Check out this random video here, and uh, we'll see you next week when we do a review of Poirier sauce and my final two sauces. See you then.